guys welcome back to my channel so I'm back for another first impressions review this time it's going to be on this L'Oreal infallible stay fresh foundation so if you want to know my thoughts about these products please keep on watching L'Oreal Philippines has already released some products from the infallible line and the first installments being this pro set and spray and then this infallible 16 hour powder but lately guys they have already released their infallible foundation as well as their infallible lipsticks for today's review dito lang ako magpo-focus sa infallible stay fresh foundation the counter where I bought mine which is inside the Watson store they have five shades available for this foundation so 150 is my actual shade when I swatch it at the back of my hand but this foundation oxidizes and since I'm very acidic nag-iiba talaga siya ng color sa akin. It turns orange. I got the lighter shade which is 120. And this 120 guys, when I was doing my makeup earlier, I did put the foundation at the back of my hand. And as you can see, nag-oxidize pa rin siya. Matching my face to my neck and then my arms, okay naman yung 120 sa akin. But anyway guys, this is how the foundation looks like. You get a glass bottle. We have a plastic cup and a plastic pump. So a plastic pump is always a nice addition to foundation because it's more hygienic and makokontrol mo yung kailangan mo lang na amount. It doesn't come in a cardboard box packaging and they seal it by putting a sticker between the plastic cup and the plastic pump. Up front, it says L'Oreal Infallible Stay Fresh Foundation fights makeup meltdown 24 hours and at the back, you're going to get the claims. It says 24 hours, asterisk, just applied finish. 24 hours flawless complexion no transfer no visible imperfections no visible shine no dry out no mask effect enriched with hydrating hyaluron plus extreme hold pigments for optimum comfort 24 hours self-evaluation on 57 subjects it also says right here that it will expire 12 months after opening it's also nice that they indicate the manufacturing date which is 12 20 2015 if you're wondering where you can see the shade you can see it at the top of the cap so hindi mo pwedeng iwala yung takip kasi pag nawala siya hindi mo na malalaman ko anong shade from the claims you can say that this is a gutsy foundation i have never seen a 24 hour foundation i have tried yung mga 16 hours but they don't really last up to 16 hours so we're going to see on the demo and first impressions later i just got out of the shower and applied my moisturizer it's the iy korea aqua moisturizer whitening vita so this is nice when i'm testing out foundations since it's water-based it doesn't contain any oil that will intervene with the foundation oils kasi if it's present it's going to help your foundation blend better so i want the foundation to perform on its own hence the water-based moisturizer and i'm also going to use a sponge and a brush to apply the foundation and let's see kung saan siya mas mag work better I'm going to use one full pump para makita natin kung hanggang saan siya makokoker. Ayan. Hindi pa siya lumalabas. There you go. As you can see, it's not too runny pero bumabagsak pa rin siya sa back of my hand. And I'm going to use half of it with a sponge on this side of my face. So I have my veins and then I have a scar right here. A red dot that I woke up with. I don't know what it is. Veins right here. Of course, my dark under eye circles and an even skin tone. Sama na rin natin yung neck. By the way guys, this beauty blender is damp. I think the color is quite light for me, pero just to wait. Mabilis mag-oxidize yung mga foundation sa skin ko since I'm very acidic. Let's see kung mababawasan niya yung aking dark under eye circle. So far, so good. Mabilis siya i-blend and parang kakalagay mo pa lang, nag-set na agad siya. And hindi siya super sticky. Still, meron pa rin pagka-sticky pero hindi katulad na ibang foundation na pag ipinatong mo yung kamay mo, makikita mo yung fingerprint mo. Hindi naman. I don't know if you can see it guys, but yung neck ko, it's kind of streaky. Na-blend ko yung nasa face ko, but then yung neck nakalimutan ko and natagalan yung foundation. So, mabilis siya mag-set, you really have to work fast. Half of my face done with a damp sponge and this is the comparison. Now, I'm going to do this half of my face naman with a brush and half of the pump. Almost finished applying with a brush, just evening everything out. And ang napansin ko, okay naman siyang kamitin sa brush. It doesn't look streaky. And one thing, para mas may better coverage yung my brush na side. And my other recorder died. Kanino pa pala ako nagsasalita na hindi nyo na ako naririnig. But anyway, I did my second layer of foundation with a brush. Since the coverage is better when you use a brush than a sponge. The foundation's finish is not flat matte. As you can see, may pagkadui siya. And I also tried earlier to concentrate some foundation on this scar mark. But to no avail, nandyan pa rin siya. It's still present. But my veins, it was covered nice and then dark under eye circles still there you can still see it but natakpan siya ng konti my light redness on the face is completely gone and the red 
read that kanina na nandito, okay na rin siya, natakpan siya. The only thing na hindi ko nagustuhan with this foundation is that it doesn't sit nicely dito sa aking nose dahil nga I have large pores right here. Anyway guys, I'm going to finish doing my makeup and I'm going to conceal what still needs concealing and I'll be back. Done with the rest of my makeup and what I did is just a very simple daily look and I just dusted, lightly dusted with this Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder on areas na nakikita ko yung shine, mostly sa aking T-zone and dito sa aking cheekbones. And I also did not put any highlighter para hindi nyo ma-mistake yung highlighter sa oiliness. Thoughts while doing my makeup guys, kanina madali kong na-apply si concealer. I use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and one indicator na okay ang foundation is when your concealer sticks to your foundation pero workable pa rin siya. So okay siya sa part na yun. And you might be wondering as well why I didn't use the rest of the infallible products, the 16-hour powder and then pro set and spray. Gusto ko kasi na makita yung performance ng foundation on its own. Now let's see if this foundation is okay with flash photography. I have my G7X Mark II here and let's take a photo. Going to review the photo. Nice! Ang ganda niya guys. Nakakakinis siyang tingnan and it doesn't have that white mask on your face. Actually, kinuhanan ko pati yung arms ko hanggang dito yung picture so that I can compare my skin tone sa arms and my face. It doesn't look like you're wearing too much foundation. Sobrang kinis. Sa mga mahihilig mag-selfie, maganda itong foundation na to. So this is something that you can wear pag may event ka kasi usually pag events, gumagamit tayo ng flash. The time now is 11.44 and I'm going to do some rest random check-ins throughout the day. Tayo kain muna ako bago umalis ata. Hindi ko sure kung aalis kami. Ito yung ulam ko, pork chop. Tapos paborito ko yung ampale. Pero sana wala itlog kaya li available. Um, ano ba tawag dito? Pinaltok to sa probinsya namin. Saging, tapos sa usawan. Umuulan sa labas pero mainit naman. So, matetest pa rin naman to foundation na yan. Tatapat ako sa natural daylight. So, you can see it is na 1pm and mga almost 2 hours after applying my foundation. Just woke up from a nap and this is how the foundation looks like. It's now 3.25pm. More or less, 4 hours na siya on my face. And I see oil sa aking nose. What I'm going to do is to use tissue. You know, tawi siya. Kala ko lahat oil. Okay, let's see. Ayan, all better. Nawala yung pawis and what's left, ito na lang talaga yung oil. And ang maganda, hindi siya dumikit sa tissue. Nakadikit na dikit na siya sa face. Mukhang natural skin, pero makinis tingnan. So, it is now 4.53pm and this is how the foundation looks like. I noticed na nag-crack na siya dito sa aking laugh line. Dahil nakikita nyo naman, pinapawisan ako. I'm going to pull you in closer. Ayan o, may crack na siya. Pero yung areas na hindi ako pinawisan, okay pa rin siya. Nangkaangkas ako sa pinsan ko sa e-bike ni tatay. Ayan. Para matanggal yung pawis. Tingnan natin. Ah, ganito na yung takbo namin. Ayan na. Ah. E-bike lang to. Huwag kayo mag-alala. Ayan siya. Idadrive siya. Uy! Tumingin ka! Nakakawa ano tayo. 5.30 and this is my second tissue. Nakapambahay lang ako and my weird can stock. Ayan. So, update ko kayo mamaya since I'm going to make more lakad pa para magkapawis pa ulit. So, I tried searching for this foundation online and ayan yung nakita ko. I went to the L'Oreal Lucky website. Ang nasa atin kasi is 5 shades and dito ang nakalagay 8 shades yung meron. I got this one. 120 vanilla pero mas may lighter shade pa sila. This L'Oreal counter na pupuntahan ko today, hindi ito yung pinagbilihan ko ng foundation. So, pagpunta ko doon at may iba pang shades, ibig sabihin, hindi lang talaga lima. Dito merong 6 shades na available. We have 120, 140, 150, 250, 220, and 235. And sa infallible line, meron sila ng 16 hour powder, the foundation, pro set and spray, and this one yung bago nila na infallible lipsticks. Sa Robinsons kami, tapos galing kami doon sa halikod sa my department store. Tininay ko rin yung true match na primer, yung may blurring effect. And okay siya, pero pag-iisipan ko muna kung bibili. So excuse yung aking damit, nakapambahay lang ako. Pero ayan yung shoes. Kamukha nung lubutan ko. Ayan, ang cute niya. Bumibili kami ng potato chips dito sa likod. Tapos ayan si Rin. Nag-hire siya. Thank you for saying hi. Ayan. Ang ganda mo. Nakakalaka. Pambahay lang din si Jelly, yung mo-order siya ngayon. Ayan, buksan natin yung light. Actually guys, alam ko na yung sasabihin ko about this foundation. Pero papatagalin ko pa siya ng konti. It's now 8.39pm and siguro ang gagawin ko, but now, for sure, I already look oily. Yung nose ko lang naman, but yung aking forehead, slight. And then sa aking cheekbones, 
So I'm back for my final thoughts and the time now is 10.39pm. I have been wearing this foundation for around 11 hours and this is how it looks like. I know you can already see that I'm oily sa aking T-zone and sa aking cheeks. Gusto ko siya. It's glowing. It's not oily. For my makeup naman, I can still see a little bit of my bronzer sa edges ng aking face and on the cheeks. Pero yung blush ko, halos wala na siya. Throughout the 11 hours, I blotted twice with the tissue. First 3 to 4 hours, no problem at all. But come the 5th hour, I can already see the oiliness on my T-zone zone and nagsettle siya sa aking laugh lines. So what I did, I just you know, smudged with my fingertip and okay naman siya tingnan. Till this moment guys kahit naging oily ako and pinawisan ako I don't see any part of my face where the foundation deteriorated. Good thing with this foundation is that when you blot with the tissue, there's very minimal transfer. I'm going to show you since oily naman siya let's blot. I have a tissue right here and what I do to blot, pinapatong ko lang siya and then I press. I do not, you know, work it throughout my face kasi yun talaga, feeling ko mabubura siya. So this is what I'm talking about. Very minimal transfer sa tissue. As you can see guys, okay na ulit siya ngayon. Parang wala nangyari. Nandito pa rin yung coverage. It's just that medyo nabura na yung aking blush. If you're going to ask me naman how this foundation feels on my face throughout the 11 hours from the application till this moment na nagbibigay ako ng final thoughts, it feels lightweight. Earlier guys, when my audio recorder died, I was telling you how this foundation has a pleasant smell, very light scent. But just my two cents guys, I think that they should have released a lighter shade than 120, the foundation shade that I got. I have a medium skin tone and I got the lightest shade because I'm acidic. So para sa mga mas lighter sa akin na acidic, I don't think may available na shade for you. And lastly guys, you all know that I have a combination oily skin and prior to putting this foundation, I applied a water-based moisturizer. Okay siya. Hindi mo na kailangan mag dagdag ng heavy moisturizer before this. But if you have a dry skin, mas okay siguro kung madadagdagan mo yung moisturization level before applying this foundation. I'm going to start treating this foundation. So for ease of application, I can use a brush or a sponge. No problem with it, but you get better coverage with a sponge. So I'm going to give it one star. For pigmentation, I'm only going to give it half a star since it can only build to a medium coverage. For packaging, I'm going to give it one star. I really like how they package this foundation. Very very straightforward yet hindi siya mukhang cheap since it's in a glass bottle and then yung pump mas madali mong i-dispense yung product but it's more hygienic. So let's talk about longevity. Even if pinawisan ako ay naging oily ako when I blotted my face, hindi natatanggal yung foundation sa aking skin so I'm going to give it one star. For a department store or drugstore foundation, however you wanna call it, it stays nicely on my skin so I have no problem when it comes to longevity and pinawisan din naman ako kanina so I think medyo naging okay naman yung pag test ko sa kanya. And lastly, we have value for money. Now, this is a nice foundation but hindi rin natin maikakaila that it's on the pricier side. So, I'm only going to give it half a star. Summing it all up guys, you get 4 stars over 5. My final verdict guys, if you have a combination skin where your T-zone is oily and your cheeks are normal to dry, this foundation will work for you. You just have to blot your oiliness at T-zone. If you are dry naman, this foundation will still work nicely on you but I suggest to use a heavier moisturizer. But if you are on the oilier side, you might want to think about getting this foundation. I'm not saying that this is not going to work for you pero marami ka pang options na mas better sa oil control. I hope this video helps and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!